Monty Booker has always been in his own lane in regards to his bounce and just his creativity in general and trying to replicate styles like this is really tough because the sounds Monty Booker use are super unique and you can't just find them anywhere but lucky for you guys Monty Booker just uploads his entire hard drive of sounds to a website there's obviously other ways to go about getting it which I will not go into detail but regardless it's definitely worth the cop and today I'm just going to be going over a beat I made in the style of Smino's Love for Rent I know this album dropped like a couple of months ago but it's still on repeat for me and for some reason you guys really enjoy these Monty Booker Smino tutorials on our channel so I'm gonna keep them coming but before we get into it be sure to leave a like and a comment and be sure to check out our new membership system this is basically a Patreon tier system where you guys pay a monthly subscription and you get a bunch of perks you have access to members only chat rooms you get a little badge next to your name and you can use a bunch of Twitch emotes in the comments as well as exclusive loops every month and tutorial FLPs from all our previous videos as well as a free kit every month from our website but once again you guys watching and liking our videos are more than enough support and this is definitely something you don't have to do and without further ado let's get into it so starting off with the loop i got this loop from simon savita he posted this on his ig story a while ago he put the loop up and said whoever can get him a placement can keep all the publishing i obviously don't have any placement links but the loop was super fire so i had to download it and this is how it sounds So as you can hear, the loop is really ambient and there's a lot going on. There's a lot of texture in the background and also a lot of space that you can chop it up and flip it. So to start off, I used that intro part that was very ambient and I added on some Valhalla Supermassive as well as a love filter and a bit crusher just for the intro. And then moving on to the hook, I added on this gross beat and I automated it to only come in at the start of the hook. And then for the second part of the hook, I made this loop unique from the first part. And then I reversed the entire melody and I chopped up parts and basically made it interchange between the reverse part and the normal part. And that is everything I did with the loop. And now moving on to the drums, you can see it's a lot. And it's not only just drums, there's a couple of one shots and accents as well. So I'll just go from top to bottom to make it easier. I started off with this FM beep from one of Monty Booker's kits. And on that beep, I added on vintage chorus, and then I also added on some stereo separation. So moving on from that, I added on this hat, and then I added on some fruity delay three. And I feel this is a really easy way to create a bounce or a perk loop of your own. You can either use hats or a perk, but just adding any sort of delay to it and just placing the notes on random pockets can help a lot with the bounce. With that being said, I added on some more hat rolls and other perk accents. And now moving on to the clap, I have two different snares, a perk and a clap sound that's layered on top of each other. And I know that might sound a lot on paper, but realistically you can layer as many sounds as you want, especially with a clap, as long as they just sonically make sense. So these are the four sounds. 
And once again, these are all from the Monty Booker kits. And then lastly, I added a really basic sub bass that only hits on the ones. And then I added on a kick as well. And that is about it for the beat. I hope you guys enjoyed. Once again, be sure to leave a like and a comment and check out our membership system. Once again, thank you guys for the constant love and support and I'll check you guys in the next one.